teach a technical course at uh, the intersection of computer science, in particular algorithm theory and economics. The students learn to model strategic situations by using formal mathematical tools and to design algorithms to find solutions that describe how rational players should behave. It is an advanced course providing tools recently discovered in scientific literature. My goal is to encourage students to autonomously face a scientific problem in terms of studying the properties and the nature of the problem, analyzing the pertinent state of the heart, designing an algorithm to solve the problem, and evaluate the empiric performance of the problem. In this process, team working is crucial. In particular, task identification, task assignment, collaboration, leadership, conflict resolution, are of paramount importance. In my course, I propose scientific challenges in which the students are required to face simplified open scientific problems. I propose a scientific challenge in which the students form teams of four students. The general goal of the challenge was the design of a software bot to play a simplified version of the poker with a deck of cards composed of a parametric number of cards. More precisely, I described the rules of the game at the beginning of the challenge, but I revealed the sides of the deck only at the end. In particular, I used two different decks, one with 18 cards and one with 26 cards. The challenge was divided into three tasks that last four weeks each. In each task, the students were required to develop a component of the bot. I provided additional material with respect to the material provided for the course for these three tasks, and I provided it with a specific schedule to force the teams to work simultaneously on a single task. To face the task, each team had to study the additional material to search for scientific papers on the topic of the task, to understand the content of these papers, to design their novel algorithm and to evaluate empirically their algorithm to choose the best one. The difficulties for the students were due to the autonomous study and the development of tools for unknown problems that were conceptually non-trivial. By periodic meetings, I tried to support and evaluate the activities of the students. The high law concerning this experimentation was the student will be able to identify main elements that characterize teamwork competence and evaluate the teamwork activity through the use of a rubric in work groups focused on problem solving. While introduced some activities to monitor and assess the teamwork scale of the students, such an assessment did not affect the final grade of the students. I believe that the performance of a team also indirectly depends on the soft skill of its members. In particular, a team who developed a good bot should have worked very well in identifying the task, assigning them to the most suitable members, organizing their execution. In order to monitor and assess the soft skills of the students, I needed to have many more individual and group meetings with the students. Before this experimentation, I usually spent a little time to support the teams. In order to assess the achievement of the soft skill high of my course, I had periodic meetings with the students. I asked them the process with which they organized the activities of the team. For instance, in many groups, two students studied the formal problem in the theory while other two students developed the codes using peer programming approaches. I also asked the students how the team members communicate each other. For instance, which tools they used, whether some students acted as the leader, and how they solved potential conflict. I asked them to fill individually form, and I did the same for every group. This form has been developed as a list of statements linked to behaviors and or situations that may occur during a teamwork activities. And for each of them, students have to indicate their level of agreement. So in the first phase, 
Students are asked to reflect on the group performance, not on the other team members' performance. After having read the forms filled by the students, I provided each team with some feedback on the organization of the work used and how it could have been improved. The crucial task in my experimentation concerns the monitor activities to understand the capabilities of the students and their contribution to the team. The commitment required to me was even higher as this experience took place during COVID-19 lockdown that prevented me from assisting team activities during class time. So I tried to address this task by asking periodic meetings with the teams and the single students during which they described to me their work, how they organized their tasks, their difficulties, the previously published works they used. After my experience, I don't think there is a better way to have an accurate monitoring than requiring periodic meetings. However, these activities require a long time and a lot of effort. Again, I believe that the direct, private interaction between a single team and the teacher or between a single student and a teacher is the best way to teach and to promote soft skill development.